In the previous video, we looked at how the uh, running count and true count changes as you deal out a single deck game. Now let's take a look at the same thing for a double deck game. For a double deck game, two decks, we start with 104 cards, 40 low cards, 40 neutral cards, and 40 high cards. This random draw section of the spreadsheet randomly selects one card from those remaining in the deck, and the chance of drawing any particular type of card is proportional to the remaining number of cards of that type. This is the running count. Each time a low card is drawn out, the running count increases by one, and each time a high card is drawn, the uh, running count uh, decreases by one. Um, for a two-deck game with good rules, namely doubling down on any two cards, a player advantage right at the beginning is uh, minus 0.40%, or almost half a percent. That's the house edge is almost half a percent. So let's take a look at the running counts. If I press the F9 key, I can deal out two decks, and we can see how the running count changes. We typically see larger running counts, for example, here the running count has exceeded 10. That would be a great time to make a, make a place a bet. But once again, we need to adjust the running count to find the true effect. To get the true count, we divide the running count by the number of remaining decks. Let me turn on the display of the true count. Okay, here, for example, the uh, running count is minus 6. Uh, but there are almost two decks remaining, so we have to divide by two. And you can see the true count is about negative three. So as we saw in the single deck game, the true count is, was always bigger than the running count. But in a two deck game, uh, you start with the true count being smaller than the running count, half the true count, because, for example, a running count of minus six with two decks remaining has the same effect as a minus three in a single deck. Okay, what does this mean for the house edge? I'll scroll down to show that graph. Okay, so um, the built-in house edge is minus 0.4%, and I've put that uh, a dashed purple line here to show that. At the beginning of the deck, the true count is zero, and your advantage is minus 0.4%. So you start at minus 0.4%. You always end at minus 0.4%. I've it's blocked by this graph, but you start and end on this purple line. And the average count is centered on this purple line. But you have an advantage only when this uh, advantage graph goes above the 0%, the black line. I'll press F9. And so again, why is this dashed here? Because in a double deck game, the dealer shuffles at about the uh, halfway point when one deck is remaining or maybe a little less. So you will not have any opportunities to place bets beyond uh, the, the first full deck coming out. So um, I've added something else to this. Obviously you've noticed this. This is a, a pie chart showing the um, percentage of time that you have favorable situations like this and unfavorable situations like this, and the gray is, means zero or about zero. That means within one fourth of one percent of zero. So from minus a quarter percent to plus quarter percent is gray. That would be like here. And here's your advantage time, that's green, and here's your disadvantage time, it's red. So here we have a deck that's a hundred percent at disadvantage for the, for the whole uh, first deck out of two. It turns positive at the end, but that's shuffled away. The graph only shows it from here to here, the part where you have a chance to bet. So here is a favorable deck, but you only have about 1% advantage, even at the best times. Oh, and here's a nice deck. Here's where you would uh, place a larger bet. Now, once again, you can only place a bet at the end of each round. So um, again, I space these numbers at intervals of 12 to give you just an approximate idea of when you'll have a chance to place a bet. Here be a good time here. 
Here you just barely have an advantage. You see a big green uh, section here. But that doesn't happen that often. You see here, for example, the whole entire deck is red. Here you have practically no chances. Here you have some a few chances to play with a 1% advantage. But again, especially if the table is crowded, you not have very many chances to uh, place favorable bets. In the next video, we'll take a look at a six-deck game.